Yes guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I've made it up north to William's performance and today we're going to be doing something that I said I'd never do on any of my BMWs. So yes, as the title mentioned, we are going to be fitting a stealth meth tank and a meth kit, obviously, to the M4. Now, I'm not too clued up about it, but Mark has promised and said that this is safe. I'm not gonna worry about it. Nothing's gonna blow up. And we're actually gonna be running it for cooling as opposed to making more power. And in fact, the M4 GTS uses meth injection or water injection rather. So this is kind of OEM. Now, again, we can supply this for you at Williams Performance, but to be honest with you, Unless you know what you're doing, you want someone else to fit because this wiring doesn't come like this. You, in fact, have to make it your own. And we also are going to be doing a video on not this, but the same sort of build. What we've got here is a single turbo, turbo, single turbo M4. And the main man, Jack, as well, he's got a white car out there, just out there. It's a bit blown, but he's got the same thing on his M3. So we'll be doing a single turbo or hybrid turbo video as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So, whoops, cheeky little flag. Power flex five, 5% of power five. Mark, Morning, how's it going bro? All right, I'm good. Good, good, good. So I've already said off camera, this isn't something to be playing around with. You need to know what you're doing to obviously fit one of these. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you just want to explain what exactly we're going to be doing today to the M4? Uh, it's a cool boost methanol injection kit. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're just going to be running charge pipe meth on yours okay. with uh, three nozzles. And what's what's the alternative? Because I know you said charge pipe meth. Uh, you can do port meth as well. S six nozzles in the uh, in the ports. Okay. For port meth plus two charge pipe nozzles. Oh wow. Where you're going to be running three, so you, you can flow a lot more meth. Um, oh, okay. Plus port meth gives you more even distribution. Oh, through the cylinder. Because I've heard it's like one yeah. in six don't get much or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Okay. And even though it's classed as a meth kit, because I've always said I wouldn't want to go meth because everyone's like, oh yeah, meth's going to explode yeah. randomly. Yeah, you're going to wake up your houses and cars going to be on fire. We can run just distilled water 50-50, you were saying? Yeah, either distilled water or 50-50 or when we're normally tuned for meth, we normally go 80-20. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on mine, at stage one anyway, on a track, am I going to notice this? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it'll keep the keep the IATs down. Cool. It'll make up for any any poor fuel quality. Oh, I see. So um, it still adds fuel because it's confusing. Yeah. I know it's going into the charge pipe, and normally in a charge pipe is just air, correct? Yeah, but, but it's still going to have into your, into your engine. Oh, yeah. I see. So it's just like a little additive. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. So we should be making about what seven hundred horsepower through this, or Probably about eight hundred. Eight hundred horsepower, yeah. stage one. There you go. You guys have heard it that's first. That's just on the first turbo as well. Oh yeah. Okay, on the second one. Yeah, so that's when sixteen. The turbo kicks in. That's sixteen hundred. Wow. Yeah. Whiplash. Whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Last thing before we do go ahead. I know on the website it does show you what comes because we sell this as a kit. Yeah. As well. Yeah. This. What is? What exactly is that? Because that's it, just. just switch to turn the methanol kit on or off. Okay, and so that's located where you can fit that you wherever can fit the customer that wherever wants? wherever you want. Uh, on yours, we'll put it under the steering wheel. Easy so to access. Like your foot, feet, yeah. Wicked, wicked. And then this, this thing? Is, these two boxes are your controller. Okay. Um, that you can either put in your glove box or on the dash somewhere. Mm -hmm. That adjusts how the meth sprays, when yes. it sprays, when it stops. That's um, what I was going to say. In regards to that, how is it going to know when to spray? It works off boost pressure. Oh, okay. So you'd set a minimum say for example 10 psi mm -hmm. and then you set where it has its maximum flow so oh, I see. say for example 15 psi so between 10 and 15 it will spray progressively more okay so that's based on the map also so if i went stage two yeah. would i need to bring that back in to get it adjusted or leave it on the not same when you're sense? just using it for cooling no it's okay. entirely the same beautiful beautiful um, it also has leds which show any Shows so low tank, low level, or any faults with a meth kit. Wicked. And if I was tuned for it, mm -hmm. it would just go into limp mode, I assume. Uh, well, we need to wire that to pressure switch. Okay. So that would go on the meth line af mm -hmm. after the solenoid, but sure. between the nozzle. Um, and then that would sense any high or low pressure in the system. Wicked. So any electrical fault or pressure loss would wire that in and put the car in limp mode. Beautiful. If there was an issue. And then that thing over there, which looks like I should drink out of it, can I take that and put some drink in there? Or? Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> what exactly is that anyway? Yeah, that's a meth pump. Okay. So on yours, it'll just go under, underneath the tank here. Oh, wicked. Um, then take, obviously take the meth from the pump, from the tank, sorry. Wicked, Go wicked. along under the car to the solenoid, mm -hmm. which is just like the switch opens and, uh, yeah, switch, sorry, opens and closes. Wicked. Um, 
and then your nozzles. And last but not least, this tank, because I've seen this on the M4 GTS, this is classed as a stealth tank, right? Yeah, yeah. Wicked, and how much litres are yeah, we having in there? Three gallons, so that's about 12 litres, I think it works out at. And in regards to how I'm using it and how it's gonna spray, how yeah. often, I know it's a stupid question to ask, but we're here to ask stupid questions. Yeah, that lasts quite a while on, on this setup. Okay. Um, but obviously it depends how much you drive on boost. Ah, uh, well, I you see. Could, you could sit down the motorway for 300 miles and not use a drop. Oh, okay, so it's it's when you're on, on, boost, on. Yeah, okay. Right. And on a track day, it would be safe to just fill this up and just keep going as far yeah, as I'm I just... I mean, we've got the level level sent, uh, switch anyway, oh, so wow. once that drops down, you'll get a blue light flashing on there. Oh, okay, so on a track you. day, just leave the, the glove box just, open, essentially. Yeah, yeah, and you just don't, I mean, it'll be like halfway, so you'd still have a, a good bit of meth left. Lovely. It'll just tell you it's getting low, so just top it up when it starts flashing. Wicked, wicked. All right, guys, so yeah, we're going to let Mark crack on with the install. As mentioned, we are going to be filming three other videos today. Um, st stage one, stage two, stage three explained. We're also going to be talking about the B58 pistons, and we're also going to be talking about hybrid turbos for this or single turbo over there. So obviously that's not the car we're going to be doing. So it probably is going to be gone. There's been quite a lot of work on that car. That car sounds epic as well. But luckily, Jack, another mechanic that works here at Williams Performance, also has a single turbo. So we'll be using his to talk about the single turbo. We'll catch up with you guys in a sec. And while Mark's working on the MEF kit, I've also got to mention... You have a look around Williams Performance, you see the big engines, you've got an S55, V58, S58, N55. Let me show you what this legend has bought. Let me show, let, let me show you. So, <laughs> Mark has in fact got one of these. He has gone to the dark side and he has got a B48. I've got to say though, it does look good. It does look good. Still looks fast, still looks naughty and I've had quite a lot of time behind one of these and as a daily especially in this weather that we're having which isn't the greatest as you can see as you can see it definitely serves a purpose and there is going to be more work done on this we're going wheels springs spacers exhaust air filter and obviously turbo Lindsay if you're watching this he definitely is going to put a big turbo on this so sorry about that love <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, it kind of looks the same. But that's a good thing because obviously it's meant to be a seamless, not in your face and store. I think with the port meth, there'd be a bit more revealed, I'd say. Yeah, uh, you'd maybe see some nozzles on the top, depending if we'd done it in the manifold or using the spacer plate. Okay. Um, but you wouldn't see that much more, really. Yeah. Okay, cool. And in regards to fitment, it's yeah. a whole day job. It's not couple hours yeah it's pretty much most of a day yeah definitely and as you can see from the outside we have obviously reached the evening so it is quite dark but this obviously means i am running it mainly for cooling and if you, cooling, you yeah. can increase the octane you were saying yeah, as well it'll, it'll increase the octane of the fuel yeah okay cool and then going forward 50 50 mix or is that my limit with the charge pipe or can yeah, i go well, 80 you, 20 you can run 80 20 if you want as well okay. yeah there's no un unless you're mapped on it there's no sort of limit to what you can run okay cool and at that point like you said we just have to be mapped for it if we did want yeah, to yeah. do more than that mm -hmm. cool and then obviously this is going to be talking to the controller yes yeah, so inside you've got, the, you've car. got the controller under the dash mm -hmm. which operates that will operate the solenoid which we've got fitted there just at the back so there, that yeah. sort of stops or starts the flow of meth to the nozzles. Yep. You've got the two nozzles there, and you've got one in the J-pipe there. Wicked, wicked. And now, for the PRD resistance, we've got the stealth we've tank. Stealth tank. And I've, we've obviously tested it, so we put some distilled water yeah. in there to test. There's quite a lot it can hold when I carried yeah, it's it. It's quite heavy. So yeah, I didn't, I honestly felt like, because it's quite shallow, I didn't mm -hmm. think it would take that much, but that's going to be enough for someone like me just running yeah, definitely. it for um, cooling. That's probably the most popular tank in the three and four series. Yeah, I was going to say, but there are others that can be mounted to yeah. the side. I think mm -hmm. you mounted a few on the M140s, but that for me is definitely my cup of tea. And I think the install, how you've set it up and how you do it, you can obviously disconnect it and transfer yeah, it to another car if yeah, they wanted to. Got all the connectors in, so it's, there's no cutting of wires to remove it. It's just un unplugging. Nice. It, it does it look very plug and play. And also in here, as Mark mentioned, so this controller, I can see there's three LEDs, but only two yep. are flashing. We've got the red that's steady. It's red. Is red, that, is that red, a good thing? For, red just means power zone. Yeah, okay, power cool. Up. And it says active, but there's no light there. Yeah, there's so when it gets near the boost point mm -hmm. where it starts, you'll see it illuminate red and green, okay. which means it's priming the system. Oh, I see. Then when it starts to spray, It'll yep. be a solid green, 
then when it's at full spray, it'll be a solid blue. Oh, okay. But that, that flashing blue there means the, the level in the tank is low. We, and how we've chose to install this, where this car is, obviously mine, I don't mind it being here. You can also install this in the glove box. The I think box, a few people anyway, do opt for really the glove yeah. box. But um, yeah, that, that looks very cool. And I think while I'm driving along, I can just have it off and the switch, you can put the switch wherever you want, but you've placed it just over here. Yeah. And I think... I'll just turn it off. Like exactly. That. And a few people have mentioned, oh yeah, it's a bit out of reach, but you don't need to be switching it on every two minutes. No. Just, you're at your track or wherever you are, you switch it on. on and you're good to go. And then just obviously keep an eye on that. And for me anyway, because I'm not too clued up with all this lingo here, you have got settings, it says start and finish, I would yeah. say. I'm just gonna leave that at whatever you say, because that's based on your that's boost pressure. Boost. So the start is where the boost pressure will start spraying. So yep. for example, 10 PSI, mm -hmm. and the full or max, I can't remember what it yep. says, is when it, yeah, the full. boost point it reaches its maximum flow. So Beautiful. say 20, so between 10 and 20 PSI mm -hmm. would progressively increase the, the spray. Lovely, absolutely lovely. So yeah, guys, that has been the video. Me and Mark are in there very cosy. Mark, it looks like you're ascending into heaven because obviously dark skin, I've got to turn the brightness up. Let's sort it out. That's better. There we go, there we go. So yeah, guys, that has been the video. As always, big shout out to Williams Performance, guys. If you need this, or even if you just want to go for a smaller setup like ethanol, make sure you hit us up. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care and God bless. See you later. Also, bye, Jack. Jack, make sure you say bye. See you later, guys. See you later, yeah. See you later sweet boy. <laughs>